Hey guys, this is Mayor Jason Bailey here at the Mainerville Public Library and I'm here today to read you guys a Christmas story and I'm so grateful that Miss Shantae and her crew allowed me to come down here and do this for you guys so I hope you enjoy it and the book that I'm reading to you today is called Wipe Your Feet Santa Claus and this book is written by Conrad Richter and the pictures are illustrated by Joseph Wilkin. I believe that's correct. If I if I completely butchered that, I do apologize, but right here it is. It looks like a great book. So anyway, wipe your feet, Santa Claus. All right. <clears throat> the kitchen door flew open, and Stephen came rushing indoors. Hey, listen, he cried excitedly. Guess what I've been doing? I know what you haven't done, snapped his mother, and that's take your boots off. Look at the mess you're making on my nice clean floor. How often do I have to tell you not to come in the house with dirty boots on? Well, I, don't, I think Stephen has upset someone. I'm sorry, mumbled Stephen. Glumly, he turned around and crept outside again. Now he didn't feel like telling his mother how much fun he had had in the forest feeding all the animals. Slowly, he walked across the yard toward the barn. He decided to help his uncle to load the sled with hay for tomorrow. Uncle John had almost finished his work in the barn. Hello, Stephen. Why are you looking so miserable, he asked. Aren't you excited? Santa Claus is coming tomorrow. Stephen went pale. He was so surprised that he couldn't answer. He'd forgotten all about Santa Claus. Today, all, of all days, he had to get in trouble over his boots. But he stamped his foot defiantly and yelled, Santa Claus is silly. I don't like nuts or tangerines, and he can keep his stupid presents. Uh-oh. He's a little upset with Santa Claus. Stephen ran back to the house, sat down on the steps, and stared into space. Would Santa Claus know that he always came into the house without wiping his feet? And could Santa Claus have heard what Stephen had just said about him in the barn? Perhaps he wouldn't bring him any presents now. He hadn't been sitting there long when he heard his mother yelling, Come indoors, Stephen. Santa Claus will be here soon. Oh, now he's, he's rethinking it. Stephen's mother was just lighting a candle when they heard a heavy knock on the door. In came Santa Claus, a big man with an enormous red coat and a long white beard. As he walked slowly into the room, Stephen crept away into the far corner and hid under the table. Now he could see nothing but Santa Claus's big black boots through the table legs. Uh-oh. Now look, folks, it didn't look like he wiped his feet. <clears throat> but what was, what was that he saw? Small lumps of snow were falling off Santa Claus's boots onto the floor where they melted. When Stephen saw this, he jumped up and cried, Look, Santa Claus has dirty boots too! Santa Claus and Stephen's mother stared in silence at the dirty boots. Then Santa Claus began to laugh out loud. Stephen's mother just had to laugh too. Oh, well my goodness, maybe the mother has had a change of heart. Finally, Santa Claus sat down, patted Stephen on the back, and said, Yes, my dear Stephen, even Santa Claus makes mistakes sometimes. Now we both better promise your mother that we won't run around with dirty shoes again. Pleased at the way things had turned out, Stephen nodded and made his promise. He began to think Santa Claus wasn't so bad after all. He's quite nice, really, he said to himself. That night, when Stephen went to bed, he found a plate of tangerines, candy, nuts, and two small presents on his bedside table, and he silently renewed his promise not to walk around the house with dirty shoes ever again. When he fell asleep, he had lovely dreams about all the animals in the forest. And that's it. So, what a wonderful story, guys. And always remember, wipe your feet when you come in. Even Santa Claus has to wipe his feet every now and then. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this book, it's available here at Mainville Public Library along with thousands and thousands of other books. So, come see Miss Shantae. Check them out. Hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Have a great day.